Hi guys, Rachel Bop here. I'm doing another trailer breakdown. This is for The Sims 4 build. I'm John Burgess, a designer. I'm going to try not to talk while I play it because I know last time you guys had trouble hearing me. So we start off with an instruction from the... ...on The Sims 4 and I want to give you a look at our new build mode. In The Sims 4... Let's just go back. Well, that was from the... Uh, Producer, did he say? I don't know. Anyway. In The Sims 4. Oh, I'm making a right mess of this. 4. And I want to give you a look. I can see there's some pictures of build mode. I'm not a professional builder, so I'm not like gonna notice amazing amount of things, but I can see here we've got curves on the. not on the walls, but on like balconies and. Fences, kind of um, fence details. Um, we've got a lot of plants and things, shrubbery. They're big into the plants and shrubbery. Oh, please excuse my fern. And um, the, this is all like dragged and pulled out. I think you can kind of see that now. Now we know how it's done. And I really like that because I am a, a novice. And again, here with the like the sloped roofs, I know you can change like the angle of the curve as well. And you can like um, adjust the foundation height, so I think that's why they've given this a really heavy foundation to show that off. At our new build mode, in The Sims 4. You can see on this one, we've got a lovely statue here, which is new. Some again, some new trees, cliffs. Um, I don't know if you can maybe adjust the terrain. And uh, this is very flat. We've got a really cool path, but they can come off the path, so they don't have to be on the path to root. Then you can see how I don't know a lot all the professional names for these features. I'm not an architect, um, but I can see how these are all different heights, and that adds to how dynamic these things look. I mean, this building is pretty amazing. Though. Look how big that slanting roof is. It's so cool, and yet the floor level is there, and then there's another floor level here. I think that's really amazing. So it's kind of um, limited by what you can create again. I can create homes with more detail and I'm saying you can create homes with more detail which is a given. I think they've really put a lot into build mode and we can get a lot more out of it even if we don't know how to build and a lot of people will be discovering this feature of The Sims um, who just played and played with The Sims that there's this whole other side of it which is building. And I love how this is attached, kind of like a little canopy. More personality than ever. And you can see them dragging and pulling. We all know this by now, but yeah, you can adjust rooms and the walls will keep whatever items are attached to them. Building is fast. It shows you the price and it shows you that you can rotate them and change where they are, pull out each individual wall as far as you like and it will adjust things accordingly. Master and you can also see down here you can search. So valuable. I just want to search for everything. I can never find anything so that's really good. And easier. Got a nice little fountain here. The colouring of everything is lovely. It reminds me of Monte Vista, very Italian. It's lovely. Um, warm colourings on this with the light. Uh, I don't know how it will look in game but I like this and I like these arches and you can see a lot more of the, what they're wearing as well. It's not just about build mode if you look a lot closer. There's a lot more. We've also got these bird kind of uh, balconies and that's really cool. The shutters on the windows, these kind of balconies that you, you wouldn't go out on but they're pointless but they look nice. In an earlier video we created Bella and Mortimer Goth. Now let's create their home. In the sim so it's showing you from scratch how to build it. You can see here another that kind of it's kind of misleading showing these curved edges when you can't have the curved walls but it does look nice but it kind of just makes you want the curved walls. Then it shows you a plot here. You can see how the like it's very public. It's kind of like they've brought the main part of the town like into the residential area which is kind of more real and it will create you having more sims. We've also got 
bins as well, which is cool. Bins 4, I can create my ideal floor plan. And you can see here are all the different floor and room types you could plop in. You can filter items here. You've got your categories here. You can see what you've selected, um, which is highlighted. Tells you your amount. It's a lovely theme. I don't know if it's going to stay with this whitewashed effect, but I do actually like it. And by drawing walls or simply placing down rooms and pushing and pulling them into shape. And it's amazing how the other shapes just adapt. And this is like so valuable for me. I'm really looking forward to trying it out. To make this even faster, I can place fully. And you saw there, there was like a catalogue of different things and different colour variations of the set rooms, kind of like blueprints, but so much more like done than a blueprint. It's just ploppable. Furnished styled rooms. Furnished, that was the word I was looking for. To suit the goth's traditional tastes, I'm going to choose rooms from the Queen Anne style. You can see how he's dragging things in and all the things on that wall are moving with them. As I resize rooms, the game will intelligently adjust the placement of furniture and walls. You can That's what I just said. See just how quick it is to create homes in The Sims 4. You can also see a lot of the new items that are going to be in The Sims 4. Because Mortimer's a bookworm and a genius. Not all images represent actual gameplay. Hate it when they put that on there. Hate it. Hopefully it'll be better, not worse. Yes, I want to give him a study. You can also see how long these windows are and hopefully the curtains will be adjustable to the heights of the windows because there's nothing more annoying than when they're not. To fit his refined tastes. You can also see again some more people, some more outfits, some more props. And for the outgoing Bella, I've built a dining room. So nice these curtains and it shows you com it coming in like kind of a pro progression. She'd be proud to host a soiree in. In The Sims 4, walls can... You can see the walls going up and these are also going up and attaching to it. And I presume you can move the windows up and down as well. ...be set to three different heights. Windows can be added to a room with just one click. That's really cool. So you can, like, line a whole room with windows with the same window rather than having to individually plop everything, which saves a lot of time. And I can adjust their placement along the wall. So fun. Look at that. We could not do that before. And having that in there will make things so much better. Because all those situations where you've had a window and the sim can't see out of it because it's too high or certain things don't fit around it. This is just amazing. I can add new architectural details. We saw the new architectural details there, like you were saying which will mean we can create things we've never been able to create before. With just a few clicks, I push and pull a roof into the shape I want, and I'll finish it off with some trim. Now, I can add a foundation and change its height at any time. That is so valuable to me because I've built so many things and have trouble getting these steps on or realize I've forgotten to put in a foundation. This is so much better. I'm almost done, but I want to add some finishing touches. Again, a lot of shrubbery. You can see down here we've got a llama hedge. <laughs> Can't wait to get that one. Um, and loads of other creatures and shapes and types of shrubbery. And I don't know what their obsession with shrubbery is, but it does make a really nice decor. Some plants, and I'll paint the terrain. And then here's a, a loads of new terrain paints. They're not loads, but I'm sure at least when they've got it, we know that they can add to it in the future as well here. There. This house looks... And that's what he's just done and it did literally just look like he did it in a few clicks. Um, hopefully our computers will run it at the speed his was. Looks great. Now I want to give you a peek at some other spots around the neighborhood. This... So this is quickly going through everything else. You've got a nice barbecue there and all these new wallpapers and colours that he's putting in really quickly. Home is a perfect and affordable place for a group of roommates just starting out in life. And you can see this is like him cooking and chatting at the same time and we've never had that before. Not building, but that's really good. An entire building can even be moved at once. You see there, 
he selected the whole thing and shifted it. Amazing. Now this looks like... And they've got a new wedding arch, which is beautiful. Picnic benches here. Again, the barbecue. Um, more shrubbery. And the path systems look really nice. And a grand piano. I'm actually really looking forward to getting that. A great spot for a wedding. And some beautiful wedding dress and formal wear and a really nice suit. And there's plenty of room in this modern home. And this house is so much different from the last one with all this glass and like I can see some really nice machinima being made through a house like this. It's you could make like your ideal house and you wouldn't be restricted I don't think. And with the paths like on different levels to go with the grass that's kind of um, up and down and this wall it's so like just there doesn't seem to be any limits with it I guess we'll see when it comes out but from what they're saying it looks really good for a multi-generational family kick what's that unicorn doll music cup new lamp giant phone actually ipad didn't get that in the base game of sims 3 let's check back in on and then this is it in another light a different house the the house we built really quick to start with bella and mortimer everyone's statue playing the grand piano green juice loving their new place i can't wait to see the houses you'll be creating thanks for watching saw some tattoos there and I don't really like seeing this at the end because it it reminds me of like when they make things and they're sort of hammering at nothing and then it just appears I don't like that I mean look at how she's holding the hammer it's really not a good advert for what they've just shown which looked amazing so I don't know why they've put this in here I don't like it oh she was okay so she was spinning it around at that point so she wasn't holding it funny I might let them off at that point. But anyway, let me know what you think about The Sims 4 build mode and if you like it and if you don't, if you're disappointed about anything or if you've noticed anything that I didn't mention, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.